Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Toonly to create a software training video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Toonly is a powerful yet easy to use video creation tool that lets you create professional animated videos without any prior experience or design knowledge. In just a few clicks, you can add text, images, and other multimedia elements to your video and customize the look and feel to match your brand. You can even add talking characters. Today, we're going to use Toonly to create a short software training video. Now, Toonly and Doodly are made by the same company, so in our example, we're going to train a coworker how to upload their own graphics in Doodly. So, let's go ahead and get started. I recommend taking a series of screenshots to incorporate into your video. So in Doodly, I went ahead and figured out, okay, what are the steps? What screens are they going to see? And I just took, I think, five screenshots and I'm going to import them into my Toonly app here and then use things like arrows or a cursor and whatnot to show them where they're supposed to click. So we're going to start from scratch. Click create new video and let's give it a name. We're going to say doodly import tutorial and click create. And we just have a blank scene. So for our background, we're going to go to backgrounds and I wanted something that was, you know, an office. So that's why I chose that one It's down here near the bottom. Here it is office workstation. And it already has two computers, so I think that I will use the camera move to zoom in and we'll just work that way today. Now, I want a character to represent the person who's training. So you just click the characters tab and pick one. I picked her and we'll use her again. Now, over here on our office workstation, you right click it and I'm also going to turn the entrance bounce off. Now I mentioned that I had created some screenshots of the Doodly software. So I do want to bring those into Toonly. So how do I do that? Well, you can go to Objects, Upload New Object, and then you're just going to browse for your files. You can drag them over or you can click and browse. So I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I have them. And I'm just going to go ahead and select them all and choose Open and upload. So I fortunately named them Doodly Screenshot. So if I just type that in, I have them Doodly Screenshot 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? So now we're just going to add them into our scene. Let's start with Doodly Screenshot 1. And wow, it's pretty big, so I need to zoom out and shrink it down quite a bit. I guess I didn't need to save them quite so large. And then we need to decide, okay, which computer are we going to be working in? Well, let's use this one. It's close to our girl that's presenting. Let's click it and decide a few things. Settings. Do we want it to bounce in or maybe do we want it to fade in? Let's think about this. Or even grow. I think for this first one, I think the bounce is actually appropriate, so we're going to leave it. Let's add our second one. We're just going to put it on top. It's going to be huge again, and we're going to shrink it down. Now this is what pops up once you do the initial thing. And then our third, we'll get these exact sizes down in a few minutes, but for now, this should be just fine. And then our fourth one. And you notice I'm just stacking them on top, just kind of where they appear in the actual software. So I'm just putting them, I'm kind of recreating, okay, what happens in the software. And that'll be fine. And then our last one is going to be gigantic again. So I forgot to turn my little cursor on. So now you can see where my cursor is. Okay, that's good for now. Now, if you look down here in the timeline, they're all stacked on top of each other. But we're not gonna want that because they happen at different times. So we're gonna just stagger it like so. And then we'll probably wanna keep 
what's underneath it showing on some of these, at least the bottom one, and then we'll see what happens with the others. Now let's go ahead and stretch out our lady here to match. Okay, so here's our first one, and we're going to move our playhead, and then our second one appears. So then we do that, and then our third one appears. We need a, a lot more time because this isn't going to happen so quickly. So if I hit play, you'll see boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's not going to be helpful to anybody. So what we want to do is get our timing. So we're going to have our first screenshot here and we're probably going to want it to be on for a little while before we start seeing this other stuff come on. So now we have our timeline laid out, but there's all this bouncing going on. So let's hit play and I'll show you what I mean. So that that's kind of fine. That one's okay. That's getting to be a little much. That's getting to be a much. And you know, that's just starting to become too much. Okay. So let's start with this one popping up. It bounces in and I think that's fine, but let's just have it fade out. And then this one, let's do instant out. Now we want to go over and add our little arrows or cursors or whatever, telling the people where they're going to click before these things happen. So I'm on my first one. Uploading your own graphics and what they need to do is click on the props tab and then the little blue plus sign. And when they do that, then this, this appears, okay? So we need to kind of simulate that. I am going to upload some cursors that I found online royalty free. So you go to upload object and then we're just going to drag and drop them in. So here's my cursor and then here's the little cursor lines and upload. And I'm gonna bring my hand in. I think I need to move these guys down a little bit. Let's add these little cursor lines now. And I think that'll be fine. And I think the bounces are going to be fine for these. So let's just take a look. Click there. And then they need to click down below here. So what we want to do is just select these together. So I was holding down the command button and clicking, or if you have windows, do the control button and click, and then control or command C to copy, and then control or command V to paste. And now I have another set. So now I'm just gonna move them down. I wanna say there's a setting where it's doing snap to. There we go, settings, snap objects right here. I'm going to turn that off. And now you'll notice I have a lot more control my positioning of these. Okay, so now let's move these guys over and let's see what that's going to look like. Okay, that's fine. So my hands tell me where I'm supposed to click. So now I've got these hands, these cursors that I can copy and paste throughout the video. So now that this one is on, where are they gonna click? Let's just go ahead and control V. So now the hand's gonna click and that is it. It's, it's there, that's the end. Now, let's go back to our normal view here, 100%. And if we watch the video, there she is. All this is happening behind her and you can't really see what's going on. So I do want to zoom in on our computer screen. So how do we do that? Well, let's go over here and let's put our cursor where we want this zoom to happen first of all so go play hi okay boom right here right in here 
So let's turn our camera on. It's so right here, it's now on. And our screen looks a little different now, doesn't it? So what does that mean? If we click here at the very beginning, you see we have some controls, okay? And this is where our camera is located. So at the very beginning, we want it full screen. And then at some point, we want to zoom in. So like right about here. So you place your playhead where you want it. You can double click, okay? And that puts a keyframe there. And now, if you click that keyframe, you can tell your camera what you want it to do. So we want to zoom in right here on this. And something like that will be fine. So let's go to the beginning. And here we are, full screen, and then we zoom in, okay? Now, if we don't like that, we can drag this over so it's not quite so abrupt. Let me make it to like three and a half seconds. So that should give us enough time to see our woman and then get in on the action here, okay? Now, you notice it's now zooming out. It's because at the very end, there is also a keyframe here saying to zoom back out. So what we can do is we can click on this keyframe and just make it the same size and position so that that doesn't happen. So there'll be a little bit of movement, but I think that'll be okay. So let's just take a look. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. If we wanted, we could add a voiceover and, or some music. In this example, I think it's self-explanatory, just having the hands do it. So let's just find some music. So you click on audio, and then down here under Toonly Audio, so you have some royalty-free music. And you can just pick a song that you like and add it to your video. So let's just take this one, Fresh Start. Let's scroll over here to our music track, okay? So where is that? Fresh start. And you just drag it into place. And there we have it. Now at the end here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose fade out. That way it'll fade out nicely. For volume, I'm going to turn it down a little, say 22%. And that should be just fine. So let's just take a final look and we will be done. And there you have it. That's how you can use Toonly to create a short little software tutorial. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.